Hi, loves, you are awesome. There is no doubt about that. I'm Katie Gates and thank you for being here. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Okay, let's jump right into it. Today, I want to give the teenagers, the, the teenagers who are in college, who the teenagers who think they are grown or older than they are, I want to share some life lessons that will save you a whole lot of pain in the long run. So just listen up, listen up, listen up, and take notes if you can. Number one, listen to your elders like me. I'm 42 as I am recording this video, so I know a whole lot. So listen to your elders. Not only will they help guide you um, through the loss, through the mountains, through the deep dark, they are going to help you understand why you are where you are and how to get out of where you are if you happen to find yourself in a deep, dark place or a deep hole. Number two, be responsible for your own life, right? Your mother gave birth to you. You have a father, you have a mother, you may have siblings and you have grandmothers, et cetera, et cetera. But at the end of the day, you are responsible for your own life. You have your own heartbeat, right? your own fingerprints, right? That means that you are an individual. So when you get up to um, adult age, let's say 18, 19, 20, 21, it's time to start taking responsibility for your own life and your own actions. Number two, pay attention to your feelings. Most of the time, teenagers, I was one of these teens, Teenagers find themselves in situations that they should not be in. And although their feelings or those goosebumps we get on us or the hairs that stand up on the back of our necks and on our arms, they are indications that there is something wrong. If you have a circle of people that you call friends and you have a eerie feeling or the energy is not right, pay attention to your feelings because anyone who calls themselves your friend and tries to bring harm to you, whether it be physical harm, emotional harm, mental harm, etc., is not your friend and you should not be around them. So pay attention to your feelings. Next, who you are is special. Don't try and be like anyone else. Because if you were meant to be like someone else, you'd be that person. Everything about you would be just like that person. You look like that person. You sound like that person. Your fingerprints, everything about you, your identity, your DNA would be the same. So embrace who you are, appreciate who you are and who you are becoming. Because when you are a teenager, you're still in growth mode. There's still a lot to learn. You're still growing. You're still blooming and blossoming. So embrace that and don't try and be like anyone else. Next, your choices today impact your future tomorrow. I'm not saying that to scare you, but the things that you choose to do today will impact your future for tomorrow. So for instance, if you start investing now as a teen, 20 years down the road, you're going to have a beautiful nest egg, right? You're going to have lots of money that you have saved and that has accumulated and will be there for hardships or hard times. If you do the opposite and don't save, spend every dime that you acquire, you're not going to have that nest egg to fall back on. The same thing goes for choosing to go to college or choosing not to drop out of school. Everything that we choose, because as we know, life is a set of choices. So everything that we do has a consequence. So every choice that we make has a positive and or a negative consequence. So think about your choices before you make them. If you're considering, well, I don't like school. I hate school. I, yes, I finished high school, but I don't want to go on to college. Instead of thinking about college in four, you know, in five and 10 years of college, think about a trade school or get some type of formal education so you can take that education into the world and make great use of it. 
Next, you are not entitled. No, being born does not make you entitled. Your parents may have lots of money. That still does not make you entitled. We were all born into this world the same way. None of us, you know, are, are any better than anyone else. So there's no sense of entitlement. Life takes work and that's for everybody. And if you are born into wealth, you still should want to work to make life just um, as fair and as great for yourself as possible. So in other words, a learning lesson, a great learning lesson. Next. There's no easy way out. There is never an easy way out. So instead of trying to take the easy way out, <laughs> because there is not one, really think about it. If it seems too good to be true, it is. That is not just an old saying that you hear growing up, that I heard growing up. It is real. It's just like the saying um, of nothing is free in life because that's true too nothing is free in life if it sounds too good to be true it is so don't run head first into choices and things and and don't make irate decisions because if it's too good to be true it is next friends that lead you down the wrong path are not friends. Nope. Tell them goodbye and move on. It may hurt for the moment, but in the long run, you are going to thank yourself for it. You're going to thank yourself for having the courage to stand alone, even if you have no friends at all. If you are around people that call themselves your friends and they're leading you down the wrong path, that means they aren't your friends anyway. Next. You're not the only one going through tough times. It may feel like it. Your world may feel like it's crumbling down. Um, you may feel like, man, no one is going through this. No one is ever going to understand me. Trust me, out of a billion people in the world, you're not the only one going through tough times. I promise you. Um, so find someone who you can trust and confide in that person. Find you, find you a confidant, someone trustworthy, and confide in that person. You'll find out that you're not the only one. And you may even see that that person too has went through or, or is going through the exact same thing that you have gone through or is going through too. Next, be a leader and not a follower. This is something that we all heard growing up. Be a leader. Nine times out of 10, if you're following, if you are a follower and you are following the wrong leader, you're going to end up down that same wrong path that they are on, which is why it pays to be smart up here and in here. So opt to be a leader and not a follower. Make your own choices, your own decisions. Don't let anyone do it for you. That's why we have this brain up here. We're all individuals. You don't have to follow someone who's trying to make you do this or because they appear to be in the in crowd. Most of the time, the in crowd or the clicks as they call it is not a crowd that you want to be a part of. And I don't care where that's at. That could be at school. That can be on your job, you know, your place of employment. That can be in the different activities and clubs that, that you're in. That can be in your um, church family. Anytime there's a click, trust me, you don't want to have any part of that. So instead of being a follower, be a leader. It pays off in the end. Next, one thing at a time. One thing at a, at a time, focusing on one thing at a time will keep you from becoming overwhelmed. Because when we become overwhelmed, we become stressed. And when we become stressed, we want to quit. We want to just give up to end it all. Quit school, quit families, quit life. 
But when we focus on one thing at a time, we'll understand that, okay, it's not as hard as it seems. It's not as chaotic as it appears. Because instead of focusing on all 10 issues or 10 problems, you're now focusing on one. If you have 20 tasks to do, take a piece of paper, jot them down. Focus on one at a time. Once you're done, just, you know, scratch them off or put a check mark. Your life will be a whole lot smoother and easier. You'll be able to breathe, you know, have that deep breath moment. And not to mention, you will feel amazingly accomplished. I promise. Next, stop looking for others to validate you. This is one I can't stress enough. Stop looking to other people to validate you. If this is something that you are doing, I want to encourage you to stop it. Most of the time we look for other people to tell us, oh, how great you are and that's a good thing. And oh my goodness, you're just so super duper awesome. And I would love to have you in my life, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The first step is validating yourself, being okay with self, loving self, appreciating self. Because when you love and validate yourself, without needing the validation of anyone else, you're going to receive that anyway because the energy you put out is the energy you're going to get back. And not to mention most of the people that are walking around you and not just, uh, just, not just people around you, but just speaking of the world globally, most of those people have their own issues most of those people can't even validate themselves. So how do you expect for them to validate you? Something else to keep in mind, most people that you're looking to validate you are fighting their own demons and devils. They're not even seeing what it is that you want them to see. So keep that in mind, love yourself, pat your own self on the back. Tell yourself you are doing good. Talk to yourself in a positive manner because if you're looking to get that from others, you have to start with self first. You have to start with yourself first. Apologies don't always come. If you're stuck in a trap of waiting for someone to apologize to you because you feel like, oh my gosh, they did me so wrong, it wasn't fair, um, no one knows my story, it wasn't right, they're evil, they're this, they're that. That apology that you feel that you need to move on may never come. And if you continue to wait, life is going to leave you behind. So it's important to understand that sometimes people don't apologize because that's just who they are. Most people that don't apologize, even when they know they've brought harm to someone else, whether it be physical, mentally, or emotional, or spiritual, they don't apologize because that's the way they feel about themselves. There's no love here for self. So if you don't love yourself, how are you going to love someone else? That means an apology. Because to apologize to someone in truth requires killing the ego, requires stepping outside of pride and saying, you know what, I was wrong and I apologize. I'm truly sorry. Most people won't do that because truth be told, it's a very hard thing to do to admit that you were wrong, although they knew they were wrong. So. Just believe that karma is real and not that we want karma to come back and bite someone on the behind. Karma is a very real thing. What that person has done to you is going to eventually come back around on them. So find peace in that and move on with life. Let's see, where are we? And I believe my last advice from being uh, a teenager before, like I said, I'm 42, is just to know who you are. Don't search high and low to discover something that's already present. And that's knowing who you are. 
Your mother can't tell you who you are. Your father, your sisters, your brothers, your teachers, your friends, your siblings, whomever, your grandparents. No one can tell you or show you who you are. Yes, you're going to have similarities to your parents because after all, they, your mother gave birth to you. But you're not her, you're not your father. No one can tell you who you are, but you. So don't let other people mold you into who they want you to be because it will happen. People will try, people will try, people will try because they may not understand who you are. And when people don't understand who you are, that frightens them. So know who you are because if you know who you are, then you know who you are not. And that is a very important thing to know in this world today. So like I said, I'm Katie Gates and these are tips for the teens and I, I for, actually for anyone um, to be honest, but if you are a teenager, these are great tips that you do not want to pass up. And tell me if any of these tips um, are helping you or will help you or if you've learned anything from them, leave me a comment. Let me know which tip you like best. Yet again, I'm Katie Gates, and thank you so much for being here. Subscribe to the channel, share the content. It helps my channel grow. Hit the notification bell. Once again, I love you. You are amazing. There's no doubt about that, and I will see you next time. Bye.